dragonflies appear in midsummer. The marsh becomes quiet, streams and pools more languid. Waterside plants and emergence have reached their full growth for the season. The natives who gave this marsh the name Tayohiro, River of Rushes, long before Europeans came to the New World, would recognize many of today's wetland plants, but others would be totally unfamiliar. Over the past four centuries, plants brought to North America from other continents, sometimes intentionally, sometimes not, have established themselves as part of the North American landscape. One in particular, purple loose strife now dominates many wetlands here in upstate New York, often choking out native plants. Purple loosestrife has a flowering stalk that blooms from July through September, giving many streams and pond sides a violet hue not present in pre-colonial times. As it crowds out native vegetation, purple loosestrife impacts bird and animal habitats. Invasive plants often have no natural enemies to hold them in check the way most native species do. This allows them to expand their range unchallenged. Many birds feed on marsh plant seeds, but none feed on purple loosestrife. In an attempt to slow its progress, scientists have begun to import beetles that feed exclusively on purple loosestrife in its native Europe. There, it is just another wetland plant that does not dominate every marsh and wet meadow. Mowing only hastens its growth as each cutting can root and quickly establish itself as a new plant. Treating it with herbicide is not an option because purple loosestrife invariably roots near water and using herbicide would result in stream pollution. There are upsides. Purple loosestrife is one of a very few flowering plants that blooms continually during the hottest time of the year, when other flowers have wilted from heat and late summer drought. In that way, it provides critical food for bees and flying insects that pollinate other flowering plants, including many native species. Some scientists contend that over time, this plant will become subject to parasites and diseases that eventually attack invasive species and bring them under control. Despite the fact many states have labeled it a noxious invader, purple loosestrife is still sold in nurseries and garden centers as an ornamental garden plant. 